Hi, it's Darcy from that Geekish family, and today I'm going to show you a video of my Harry Potter bookshelves. Yesterday on my Instagram account, Wandering Snape, which is my Harry Potter specific Instagram account, I had posted a quick story on my bookshelves. But because the video was so short for Instagram, you couldn't really get a good look and it was fast and blurry, so people were asking to see something more. So, here it is. First, we're going to start at the top and just work our way down and bear with me. At the top, we start with Spinner's End. I know it's supposed to be a brick townhouse, except this house that we got at Michael's in the Halloween um, decoration this year just seemed to fit Snape perfectly, and we just played it off that he did a little redecorating and remodeling once he became headmaster at Hogwarts. Um, he got a tree to plant in his garden, um, and the kids will often do tricks on him. Uh, which you can see on the Instagram, um, his cauldron and a potion bottle, and then in the back, like a little magic book um, prop. The next to this, we have Hagrid's hut. Um, our Hagrid pop, uh, the Lego Hagrid's hut that we gave my kids for Christmas years ago that they gave back to me because they knew I loved Harry Potter so much. Um, and then our mystery minis, uh, Hagrid and Hermione. Um, we haven't tried to collect them all because they got a little expensive to try and we just figured if we wanted them badly enough We'd just buy them individually and not waste money and then a little Lego hippogriff The next shelf down is the main bookshelf for most of the books that we have and we'll start over um, Actually in the back because it's quicker right there is the stack of our um, wand boxes um, you can see Right there that we got from oh that was Harry falling down um the uh, wand boxes came from Universal Studios, and we have them on the display case in the living room, plus my husband has a few at work, so we don't keep the boxes out. This was where the Harry Potter um, sorting hat pop is, but he falls all the time. I kind of look at him sometimes, and he falls over. All right, let's start here. Um, my Harry Potter coloring book, I only have one of them because while I love to color, I just know that I'm not going to color all that often and didn't want to waste money on something that I just wasn't going to use that was just a coloring book. But I will use this one to doodle in when we're watching a movie or, you know, when I just feel the need to chill. Um, next we have the Ron Weasley version of the film artifact box. It is a box specific to, to Ron. Um, and it comes with quite a few printed materials. That's all that are in it. There are no props or anything else. It's all flat pieces. They were really cool. And because I'm such a soccer fan, um, Quidditch has just caught on for me. And so um, I loved having this poster of the Chudley Cannons. It's on our refrigerator and all the little other accents that go with it. Plus a Dumbledore chocolate frog. Um, it also comes with a map of the Quidditch grounds that they camped on. Um... But these are about $40 a piece, and they're really expensive for what you get in them. So while I love it, I haven't bought the one for Hermione and Harry because I just felt they were too expensive. Now, whether that makes me a non-fan or not, I can't say, but I'd rather spend my money on pieces that I know I'm just going to love and not something just to have. Um, and speaking of what I love, these illustrated versions of the Harry Potter books are gorgeous, and if you don't own them, you need to buy them. I will link them in the description below. Just gorgeous. And I also did a video of the release of this one that I'll link you as well. Here are the Harry Potter hardcovers. And I tell you a secret, these actually belong to my husband. Um, but don't tell him I have them on the shelf in our bedroom because he'll never notice. He collected them before I became a Potter fan. And it just was one of those things where they're coming on my shelf. Thank you very much. Um, next we have, move Dobby over just a second. Um, a cookbook that we got, Wonderful Creations. Um, it was from our Geek Gearbox uh, World of Wizardry that we have a subscription to. And they have a lot of special pieces that are just like this that are exclusive to the boxes that you can't get anywhere else. Um, and once they're gone, they're gone. Um, and I'll link uh, them below because they're an awesome box to get. They're about $25 um, both pounds in USD, um, and they come monthly. Then we have the hardcovers of Beetle the Bard and Quidditch the Ages, plus uh, a paperback of Quidditch. Then there is uh, our Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them original book. Then the picture book of the Tales of Beetle the Bard. Here is my Fantastic Beasts uh, screenplay. The next back here is 
this gorgeous Azkaban poster that's done in the Art Deco style that I just really love. And I got that from Geek Gearbox. Um, they send out a lot of little print posters and postcards and stuff that are just really cool for display. Then here's my Dementor, which is perfect to have it against Azkaban. Um, the Dementor is sitting on this really cool Harry Potter cauldron. Um, it's actually a soup cup, which is kind of weird. And when you open it, you actually have potions inside brewing. Um, but I just loved it because it makes a great prop. Then is our um, Birdie Bots and Every Flavor Beans uh, that we got at Universal last year when we visited. And funny thing is today is our one year anniversary of going on the trip. And I'm just going to show you this really quick. This is a photo of us there. Hi, wish we were back. Really, really wish we were back. <clears throat> Next here is the Dumbledore Chocolate Frog that came in the Ron Weasley Film Artifacts box. Um, our little Hermione and Harry keychain minis that we don't have as keychains because we just like to have them around. Um, this I've made into Harry's um, travel chest for school and I use it for a lot of the school prop, the school photos I do. Um, this is, a, the owl is a little animal mini that I got at Michael's that I use for my head wig. Um, and it works really well that way. Then we get down to some of the pops, which is Dobby. McGonagall, who they finally released, and I'm so thankful to Funko for it. Now, if you guys will just do Molly, I will be so happy. Dumbledore 2, who is missing his glasses. We don't know where they went. They disappeared one day, and we didn't even notice they were gone. Um, and here is my ticket to the Hogwarts Express, which actually came from Get Your Box um, in one of the monthly subscriptions. I keep it out hopes, in hopes that one day we will be going back. The next shelf, <clears throat> more of all the props that we have. Um, I'm just going to go through them really quickly. Draco and Harry Quidditch with my snitch in the back that came from a Reading Press box um, that I got at the bookstore that you put together. Um, this is my Time Turner necklace. I also have a little keychain. I just don't have out here. This, because I can't get to it, I can't show you now, is a Quidditch box. Um, and inside are all the balls. Um, only the snitch is not available. I mean, the snitch is the only one that you can't take out and kind of play with. Um, and it came with a poster that's on the inside. I just can't get to it and open it, but it's really cool. It, I got it for about $20 on either Amazon or eBay, and it runs a little more than that if you just buy it straight from the store. But look for the deal. It's worth having if you're a big fan. Next are our soft covers of the Harry Potter series. Um, if you can afford it, buy it in one spot, I mean, in one whole piece that comes with a little container box. Um, when you don't, these books tend to spread because paperbacks just do that. And Hogwarts doesn't look as nice, and I wish I had it for all the photos that we do. Here is my quaffle that my husband bought me when we went to Universal last year. My favorite piece that we ever got. Um, back there is my pumpkin juice bottle. Love pumpkin juice. Um, and he ended up buying me a case of it for Mother's Day this year, which was the best, most awesome thing. Loved it. Has savored it forever and finally had the last one not long ago. Um, my pixie. Um, the Cornish pixie and the mandrake and, um, I'll be the stupidest person ever because I'll remember this in a second, but my... My brain just froze. Um, all kind of a single pack of Funko um, little minis that run about the same price as the regular Funkos that we got as a Barnes & Noble exclusive from Comic-Con. Um, you can probably find them on Amazon or eBay or something, but they're not in widespread circulation anymore, which I kind of wish they were because I love them and I need more Pixies. Um, here is Scabbard from the Funko Mystery Minis. That, that's the last, the ones that we ever really collected. Then Neville, um, Ron, Hermione, which um, I have a, my original Hermione and she broke her wand. And I have a dear sweet friend who sent me, who gave me another one. But I can't get her to stand up and I still have to prop um, something below her to get her to stand all the time. So for right now she lays because I don't want her to get to fall over and break the wand again. Draco, whose wand is broken, as you can see, which is pretty appropriate for the character. But... One thing about these pops I really don't like, if you're not really super careful with them, the wands tend to break and the glasses tend to break as my original Harry. You can see here, we've had to glue it and it was a bad job, but we'll have to get a new Harry. 
uh, Luna, Harry, and, and Cedric in their um, Triwizard outfits, the Triwizard Cup, and the Triwizard Golden Egg from the Dragon. The Triwizard Cup I got off of eBay. Um, I don't remember how it originally came. I think it was a keychain. Um, and I just bought it because I wanted a small version of it that fit the pops. Um, the egg came from Hot Topic. There is, um, Sirius Black. My, uh, Felix Felicis from, I got this from, uh, actually from our comic book store, Madness Games and Comics. Um, they have an awesome Harry Potter collection there now. Shout out to those guys because we love them. <clears throat> a set of Harry's glasses. Um, my... Deathly Hollows necklace. Deathly Hollows necklace, sorry. Um, Deathly Hollows necklace right there. Then this uh, Gringotts coin that we just got. Let me try to get a better view of it. That we just got in our Geek Gear box, which I love. It comes in a little protective case, so it stays... Um, so it doesn't get messed up. Because it's easy to get fingerprints and smudges all over them. Love this. Um, this little um, Harry Potter wand is a pen that I got from Barnes & Noble. Um, Ron in his Christmas sweater. Um, I have the Harry that goes with him too, but he's actually on display elsewhere right now, so he wasn't in the, the uh, shelf. Um, a Gryffindor keychain. My husband is Gryffindor. Um, these keychains we got from Madness um, Games and Comics, but we've seen them elsewhere. The Gryffindor was the only one that really shows up very well in photos, and so I didn't get one for Ravenclaw, which is my house. But I got the Gryffindor just to have for photo props. Um, my prefect badge for my house. Uh, I'm a Ravenclaw. Woohoo, Ravenclaw. All right, here we go. Next shelf down. In the back, you will see um, my Harry Potter um, Diagon Alley 3D puzzle that I absolutely adore. It's awesome. It took a while to do it. Um, I have a video in... Uh, on my channel that shows the completed version all the way around. I store it right here um, when I'm not doing props um, or doing photos and I just adore it. In the back is a photo of um, when we were in uh, King's Cross at Universal. Um, that was one of the photos. We're going to have a photo wall soon that have all of our photos from, uh, all of our cherished photos kind of from the trip, just to have that where we can see it. This is a little mini version of um, the map, and I love it because it's it's exactly the thing, the real one. I mean, it's, they didn't scrimp on this all. We got this from Geek Gear Box um, in one of our monthly collections. It is amazing. Um, yeah, I have Narnia on my shelf because I love Harry Potter, but I love Narnia like more it's in my heart in a way that um, Harry Potter hasn't been able to get there yet but because C.S. Lewis is my favorite author and Narnia just touched me in a spot at a time when it was just perfect kind of like a lot of you guys are with Harry Potter now um we keep some lanyards that we've gotten from either Geek Gear Box where I bought um from uh Madness Games where um we just have them and this is a little three broomsticks mug that we got from ah sorry about the focusing here guys um, that we got from the Geek Gear box one month. Then some of the brand new pops that have come out. Mad Eye, Lucius Malfoy, Umbridge, Boo, Bellatrix, Bellatrix Prison. Um, there is my Hedwig coffee cup that I adore. Um, I actually took a photo of it for the original Funko um, photo prompt this morning and um, love it. There is Valdemore. Um, we did a little version of uh, Nagini from the same place that we got the, the Hedwig. It's from Michael's um, and it makes a great little prop for Voldemort. Um, there is a new Fred and George. Um, ears are all intact. We were kind of sad to see that. We thought they might have done it, but they didn't. And I've got them here because I've got them right in front of their store because it makes perfect sense. And then here's the last one. Um, this is just kind of my junk place where I store all of my props for photos in these old geek, these old World of Wizardry boxes that we get from our subscription. And here's a little, um, we call him Harry Porker after Homer Simpson uh, box, I mean, bank that came in our last box that we just thought was cute. I transport my pops for photo shoots when we're out and about in these little 
um, containers that make it to where they don't break. And then this is just some craft projects I'm about to start working on and some other odds and ends of just stuff. But, you know, I just wanted to show the real world. My, my shelves <clears throat> are definitely not perfect. And then just last because it was down there because my husband's going to take it to work. Um, the Harry wand we got in our last gear, geek gear box subscription that it's awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, this is definitely not the least bit of our Harry Potter merchandise, but it is what we keep out on display. Um, you can find other things in uh, my playlist for Harry Potter, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.